It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute. All right, Snoop Dogg reveals his top 10 rappers of all time list after leaving Eminem off. All right, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, catch your vote for Kofi's Hip Hop Hall of Fame. That link is in the description. And check out new interviews with Kimbala, Self Title, and Ill Mac. You can check those interviews out in the interview playlist. All right, so Snoop Dogg finally came out with his top 10 list, the top rappers, top MCs of all time. He said, this is mine, it's not yours, and he said this on IG. Number one, Slick Rick. Number two, Ice Cube. Number three, LL Cool J. Number four, Karis One. Number five, Rakim. Number six, Run from Run DMC. Number seven, D from DMC. <laughs> Number eight, Big Daddy Kane. Number nine, Ice T. Number 10, Too Short. He said, a lot of niggas been crying about me leaving people off my top 10 without even seeing my shit. So here it is. FYI, notice how none of my peers or my C's after me are, um, or after me are on my list. Respect, G's is what I was taught. If you were finished, you would get over it. And I left, I guess I left off the top 10, not even on this list one. And he's laughing about it with some emojis. All right, I love this top 10 list because number one, Slick Rick, everything he did, like I said, you can put on Children's Story right now. People don't get to dancing in the club. And then my homeboy, my brother, Scoop, said that shit. He said, you put on Children's Story right now, everybody that's in a certain age group going to get up and dance. Number two, Ice Cube. Ice Cube paved the way for the West Coast. Yes, so I agree with that because everything he did with NWA and after that, that's why Snoop was looking up to him. LL Cool J, everything he did in the mid-80s, everything LL Cool J did, he did so much for people like, you know, Fabulous and Drake and shit. Rakim, when it comes to bars, lyricism, yes. Karras One, an educator, a prophet, a scholar on the microphone. You can't go wrong. Run from Run DMC, D from DMC, yes. Those are pioneers right there. What they did for um, hip-hop. Now you have Big Daddy Kane, that's another pioneer. Another pioneer, especially when it comes to wordplay. Ice-T, yes, colors, you know, cop killer. Too short, oh my God. When you're talking, talking dirty, crazy, you gotta go with too short. People are mad, oh, I fucked up, how he don't got Eminem on it. First of all, Eminem wasn't even out at that time. So when you have some of these rappers putting Eminem on a list that was OGs, Back in the day, they only saying that shit so they can please Eminem and they can feel like Eminem, you know, oh, he gonna have respect for them. Eminem ain't giving a fuck about them. Eminem got his own problems. To me, this is what it is. Eminem is not whack. All right, he ain't whack. But it is, he don't have to be on your top five, top 10, top 20, top 50, top 100. That's my thing. It's everybody opinion. It's subjective. So stop trying to make Eminem this motherfucking Superman, this motherfucking hero for everybody because he's not everybody hero. None of Eminem albums are better than Snoop Dogg Doggy Style, hands down. Doggy Style is a classic. So what is Eminem going to bring? Dr. Dre beats, man, get the fuck out of here. You can't bring that. So tell me an Eminem album that's better than any Karras one album back in the day, any Rakim album back in the day with Eric B., any... Run DMC album, any LL Cool J, any Big Daddy Kane, any Ice Cube album, none of those type of albums. So I don't want to hear that. And Eminem, he couldn't even beat no LL Cool J in a versus battle. Hands motherfucking down. LL Cool J would kill Eminem. Everybody know Eminem can't survive against no Ice Cube. He can only pick motherfuckers he think he can beat, but he didn't want to go against DMX. And you saw what happened. DMX, everybody go, oh, that's some hard ass shit. This is like a job for me. Nobody cared about that type of shit. At that time when it came out, I felt that his first album was dope. But after a while, you feel like, man, he don't got no substance. 
I mean, is he talking about the same thing? Fucking his sister, fucking his mama, his mama on drugs. Nobody care about that shit no more. That shit's trailer trash shit that's played out. You can go somewhere some, with that shit. You can dismiss me. That's how I feel. And like I said, if you got a problem with Snoop Dogg list, well, fuck you. Snoop Dogg got to prove shit to nobody. If Eminem is your top rapper of all time, that's you. And nobody don't have to agree with you. You got to respect that. Stop trying to make people agree with what you like. Eminem is not in my top 10. He's not in my top 20, top 50, or top 100. And that doesn't mean he's whack. He just, he's not. So I'm just letting it be known. But you see that Snoop Dogg didn't say Tupac Biggie Smalls or Big L or Big Pun or like Raekwon or like Method Man. And there's nothing wrong with him saying that because at the end of the day, these are the people that inspired him that he grew up on. And there's nothing wrong. I respect that. Not Corrupt, even though Corrupt is one of the best lyricists of all time. But I respect Snoop Dogg list. I think it's beautiful. Thank you, Snoop Dogg, for letting this, um, put this out, let out there so people can know what's going on and you ain't scared to say. But at the end of the day, it's just like... People got to get over their fucking feelings. Eminem, you know, he might be your motherfucking Jesus Christ, but he ain't my Jesus Christ because I don't even believe in no motherfucking Jesus. So I'm not a Christian. So if you come with some comedic signs, yes. With some hey, Rue, oh, yeah, we talking. So get that shit out of here. Post your comments below. Hoax mask, Black Panther, the like button, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, you can share my videos on social media platforms. Or you can make a small contribution, Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe if you want to become a Patreon member. Until next time, salute.